Um, this is LSR, and in this video, I want to talk about why Central 2 is better than the Grand Theft Auto series, in my opinion. I know different people have different opinions and everything, but in my opinion, I'm gonna show you the reasons why Central 2 is better than the Grand Theft Auto series. I mean, first of all, in my opinion, it's obviously the story and the characters. The story and the characters um, is way, way better than the Central, I mean, Central series. Shit, I mean, I love how in Central 2 and continue the story from Central 1. Like, I love the characters, the way the play got betrayed in Central 1, the story. It's just, I love how it continues because in Grand Theft Auto series, each, each game is different, you know what I'm saying? It has a different story. Yes, there's some returning characters and shit, but the overall story is different. Central 2 continue from it, and I love that shit, man. True, there's many good characters like Johnny Gash, Sean D, Pierce, Carlos. Like, these characters are top, top tier, you know what I'm saying? Top tier, and I just love the story how it's balanced between crazy and between seriousness. And yeah, man, it's one of the main reasons. Um, second reason is um, I love the customization of this game and the map. Because customization of this game is top tier, you know what I'm saying? In GTA 4 at the time, you didn't have nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have no customization. customization. You can only select like a few clothes of Nico and shit. Um, but there's barely nothing. You can customize your car at all, nothing, you know what I'm saying? You can buy crips at all. You can customize your crips in the whole Grand Theft Auto series. I know in San Andreas you have a lot of customization too, that's where we got introduced. That's the father of the you know, customization. But Essential 2 is took it to the next level, you know, like the clothing, the layer clothing and everything. That you can put chains, tattoos, the way you can change your character, like a different race, have a you can have a female voice with a male. Like so much do so much stuff you can do in Essential 2, you know what I'm saying? You can choose different fighting styles. I know you could do in San Andreas too, but like the way Essential 2 does is more unique, you know what I'm saying? You unlock it after defeating certain gangs and everything. So this is the way I do it, you know what I'm saying? Essential 2. Custom say customization is top tier. Don't even talk about the uh, you can customize your car too. You can never do it in the Grand Theft Auto series. I mean you could do it in San Andreas, but Central 2 every single car can be customized the way you want it. There's some um, new features, you know what I'm saying? You can customize the color of the interiors, the windows, some um, the rims, all kinds of types of rims and everything, you know what I'm saying? Like so much you can do. Don't even talk, don't even get me started about the the apartments, you know what I'm saying? The apartments that was something else, you know what I'm saying? Like the apartments I was the best thing I ever fucking done when I first started playing this game. When I first customized the apartment, I was like, whoa, I can customize this shit? God damn! I was like that bro. But yeah, man, you can make your apartment look different, more stylish, or you can make it look all fucking ugly and shit with good furniture. Just so much you can do in Central too, you know what I'm saying? You can customize your own gang, the color of the gang, the vehicles of your gang. Oh my god, there's so much, man. There's so much you can do. And talking about that, we'll be talking about the map because in the map, there's so much you can do even after you complete the story. Like, you can do so much still. So you can even have, you can even fuck, you know what I'm You can fuck in the gas station, bro. <laughs> you can even fuck. I know you can fuck in San Andreas too, like with a girlfriend, but since you're two, you just go to the gas station, boom, you can fuck real quick. But uh, either that, there's a lot more, there's a lot of interiors you can enter, and secret interiors. You can secret areas deep in the ocean you can find. Even areas fans are still finding to this day. To this day, man. Like, you can watch things called Silla video, Flippy, new glitches, new everything. This map is filled with fucking secrets and shit. So, like, in the, what's it called, in the cemetery, there's a little secret in the tunnel. You probably don't even know watching the video, you know what I'm saying? Like, go watch Godzilla. There's a lot of secrets you can find that you probably don't even know to this day. Man, the map has so much detail into it. Each single area feels different. Feels so alive and different, like you don't even know, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you go to the central district, it feels so nice. Then you go to the left side, you know, where the uh, you know, where it is with the apartment where you where the Saints Hideout is, kind of is more hoodie. Then you go more left, like so ugly and shit, all fucked up and shit, you know what I'm saying? All the homeless living and shit. Where you go south, there's the barrio area, the factories, the dogs. You know, the, the airport with the man Lopez mansion is, the university, the apartments area where the brotherhood is. There's a whole mountain filled with secrets, lake, like a little dirt dirty area with a farm. Um, the trailer park and some and fucking, and fucking whole suburbs area, you know what I'm saying? A little beaches, a beach marine area with a pirate, like, you know what I'm saying? Like the downtown museum. 
it's, uh, then low ancient area, like a little museum area right on the north side. Like, so much this game has, you know what I'm saying? Like, this game has a lot, like, almost one thing of everything, you know what I'm saying? This game has everything. It even has a yacht. If you mod this game, you can actually have a yacht or something, house, you know what I'm saying? So, this game has a lot of everything, man. Like, everything you can think of, this game has it. Shit, you can buy the food in the game, you can buy. You can eat a fucking donut, you know what I'm saying? A fucking donut? You know what I'm saying? Like a fucking taco and shit, Chinese food. You can even enter some restaurants. I'm not a freak of you cannot enter, but you can enter some restaurants, like a little back in the in the beach area. Shit, even the mall, you can enter a bunch of fucking stores in the mall, you know what I'm saying? Like in the mall, there's a whole area, a bunch of stores you can enter. Unique stores too, like in the mall that has a unique store you cannot find the map. This is how much detail they, they put into this game, bro. So much fucking detail. Not even gaming with activities, you know what I'm saying? Activities are something else, bro. Something else, you know what I'm saying? But talking about the map, bro, there's so much you can do with the map. It feels different. The NPC feels so alive and different each um, district. Like university, there's like students, you know what I'm saying? And beach already, like people like dressed as a beach, a lot of old people in downtown, like suburbs area, that are, like nice. You go by the dog, like, the docks and the suburbs area. We bought the house with the boats, everyone's eating the birds and shit, like so much, you know what I'm saying? It's the vibes of the vibe of the city, man. It's so much more than the Grand Theft Auto series, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? Like I know San Andreas have one of the best maps too. But in my opinion it's still worth beating. It. It's beat it all together, bro. I don't care about that. It's still worth beating, you know what I'm saying? There's so much in the map. Mm. Activities, the activities are the funnest in this fucking series, you know what I'm saying? They're the funnest, bro. Like crowd control where you're fucking throwing people on and shit, you know what I'm saying? I just fucking boom, boom, fucking throw them, out, throw them and fucking kill them, massacre them. And first, this is one of my favorite ones, it's on the rare as fucking first. We you can rope that's a fucking cop. You ain't gotta play 5M, bro. You can go boot up Central too. Rope that's a cop, you know what I'm saying? Like that, that's one of my favorite activities. My big notch favorite one, uh, Fight Club, you know what I'm saying? You can use your customized new moves in Fight Club, making a new experience each time, you know what I'm saying? It's ta 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 ta. Fight people all the time and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, so much you can do in this fucking game, you know what I'm saying? But the activity is so much do like fucking. And the. the structure, the activity, I forgot the fucking name, though. I don't know how the fuck I forgot, but you get my point, bro, so much. And the one of the top things is the fucking replayability where you can replay missions you can replay fucking missions in this game bro like you can you can re Grand Theft Auto never had that shit you know what I'm saying Central 2 did introduce a lot of stuff that the Grand Theft Auto didn't have like the, you can replay missions and cutscenes and shit like they introduced that with the Battle Gate not even GTA 4 bro they didn't know it's Central 2 and Central 1 had that they're like, oh shit, we need to put that, they put it in our DLCs, you know what I'm saying? Not even the main game, they put it in the DLCs. That's how you know Essentials to do some good shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you can have a little video game, like zombie video game and shit, like so much, bro. And Essential 2 introduced a way you can shoot vehicles, because back in the GTA series, you're gonna have like, what, like two cars each crib, you know what I'm saying? Only like two cars. Essential 2 introduced, we can have multiple ones, you know what I'm saying? Which you cannot do in GTA Online. And the weapon wheel mm -hmm. GTA got pretty essential with the weapon wheel you know what I'm saying GTA 5 was the first one to have the weapon wheel and by essential had it first the way it set up and everything I always loved the weapon wheel back in the day I never liked the way GTA had started with a shoe like pretty RB LB type of shit you know what I'm saying or the deep pound GTA 4 and yeah man like the city and everything much more like the Liberty City in my opinion even San Andreas but yeah man I know San Andreas introduced a lot more like it's the father, you know what I'm saying? But like, San Central 2 took it to the next level, in my opinion. And this is what makes it better than the Grand Theft Auto series. It balanced, it balanced the craziness with the activities, with the serious story. A lot of customization, which at the time, if you, if at the time, if you want to play a serious game, you play GTA 4. If you want to play like a crazy game with balance with a serious tone, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of customization, like San Andreas, you play Central 2, you know what I'm saying? Like, at the time, Everything was crazy. I love how to do the phone, which GTA 4 didn't do that. The phone, you call your homies, the cheat codes, if you put your cheat codes in. Like, the cheat codes are top notch in this game, too. I love the cheat codes. Um, it's up there with San Andreas, now I'm saying, because San Andreas have one of the best ones, too. Um, but yeah, man, the voices, the voice actors in this game are top notch and everything, bro. 
it's so much, man. I feel like there's so much I don't even come up in my mind, like especially the interior, like Chinese interiors and shit. I feel like there's so much I don't even put in my, I don't even, it's not even in my mind right now, cause <laughs> even like secret cars and everything, uh, the way it's chopped knives, uh, assassinations, museums, everything, bro. The multiplayer too, bro. They should introduce multiplayer first, you know what I'm saying? And then GTA introduces for GTA 4, which is probably already had plan anyways, but the multiplayer are top notch and central too. They can have a lot of fun with it and everything. But yeah, man, like it's, that's why I believe central 2 is better than the Grand Theft Auto. I want to find, put out a feature where you can buy um, you can buy cars where you can never buy back in the Grand Theft Auto franchise. You can never buy cars, boats, bikes, everything, man. You can buy everything in this game. Also, um, oh, also, well, some things I want to point out that I forgot is that the ability to buy fucking music, man. In the same show games, bro, you you can never do this in GTA franchise, but buy your own songs so you can put on your own playlist so you can listen to the songs over and over again. That's a good ass feature. Um, same show, bro, that GTA never had some. I know GTA on PC, bro, the feature where you can put your own own, own songs like they're not in the game. I know that the feature is a little better, but this feature is it's badass, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's about fucking badass. You can listen to your favorite songs over and over again, man. Yeah, man, also. The future where you can pick up fucking items and beat motherfuckers with it. Boom. Just like that, man. <laughs> Anyways, I'm out, man. Fuck you.